everybody welcome back to start mcclear and back to the nascar part in this series i'm sean mccleary and today we are going to talk about uh an active driver and probably one of the top five greatest drivers of all time and the winniest driver of the 2000s and that is jimmy johnson we're going to talk about his early career how he made it to the cup series how he became a superstar how he won his five in a row his five in a row championships and all of his other championships and his success and all that good stuff so let's get started jimmy johnson was born on september 17 1975 in el cajon california the son of Catherine l Ellen Dunhill, or quote-unquote Kathy, and Gary Ernest Johnson. He had two younger brothers in his life too, Jarrett Johnson and Jesse Johnson. Jimmy Johnson started his racing career in 1980 when he was only four years old, racing motorcycles. A few years later, he won the 60cc class championship despite having an injured knee during that time. After that, he went to the MTEG Stadium Racing Series, also known as Mickey Thompson's Entertainment Group, where he won several more awards during that series. And, uh, and then while in high school, despite racing motorcycles during the weekend, while he was in high school, he was a water polo player, a diver, and a swimmer. He attended Granite Hills High School and he graduated in the year 1993. After graduating high school, Johnson was given the opportunity to drive for Herb Fischl, however he refused and continued to race buggies and trucks in off-road off venues. In 1996, Johnson would finally get his big break, driving for Herzog Motorsports in the off-road truck series. And then by a year later in 1997, he has progressed to, to, um, to the Off-Road Drivers Association Class 8 is a short court, which Class 8 is short course off-road racing class of two-wheel drive trophy trucks, which generate about 800 horsepower. However, John ended up finishing third in the championship right behind Brendan Gaughan who finished second and then Scott Taylor who won the championship. However, during that time, he, he in, the, in all of the series he's run in, he has accumulated over 25 wins, 100 top three finishes, and six championships, and receiving Rookie of the Year in all three leagues, the NTEG, the, the SCORE, and the SODA. Then in 1998, Johnson, while racing in the American Speed Association, Johnson would finally make his NASCAR debut in the Bush Series at Lucas Oil Raceway, driving the number 59 ST Motorsport Chevy. In his first NASCAR event, he finished 25th. And he made two more starts in the 1998 Bush Series season at Gateway and Homestead, where he finished 15th and 33rd, respectively. In 1999, Johnson finally drove for the team that gave him his big break, Hernzong Motorsports, into the NASCAR Bush Series, driving the number 92 Chevy. While he was unsponsored at first, he would later get a sponsor at, by, and later in the season by being sponsored by Altel. In 1999, he made five starts in that car, and he got his first top 10 finish at, at the Milwaukee Mile finishing seven and then he made the final he made the final four starts at the final four races of the season his best finish being 12th at, at Memphis Park and then by two and then in 2000s it was finally announced that Johnson would drive full-time in the Bush series driving the same car and his first full-time season in the Bush series um, Johnson did not qualify for Daytona or failed to qualify for Daytona. In fact, he actually struggled throughout most of the year, only having six top tens and zero top fives throughout the season. However, by the end of the season, he did manage to finish 10th in the points. However, the most famous moment that happened during his 2000 campaign 
was at Watkins Glen where he had a where he had a really bad accident on lap 46, and it, while his brake fails entering the first turn, um, he went into the grass on the inside one, and he went back across the track, caught some air on the gravel trap before finally crashing head on into the barriers at the end of the turn. And uh, while and it looked like that this incident could have killed him, especially during at that time NASCAR is not wasn't as safe as it is now. However, surprisingly he climbed out of the car and uh, he was uninjured in the accident. And he was okay and able to race for the rest of the season. And then Johnson will still continue to race full time in the Bush Series in 2001 driving the same car. In 2001, Johnson had much better consistency than he did in 2000. He got his very first nat and only Bush Series win at Chicagoland Speedway in the middle of the season. And uh, and at, by the and throughout the year, he got his first he actually got his first top 5 at the season opener at Daytona, where he finished 5th. Throughout the 2001 season, he won one race at Chicago, he had four top fives and nine top tens, and he was able to finish eighth in the points. At some point during his Bush career, Jimmy Johnson and NASCAR champion and Johnson's future car owner and teammate, Jeff Gordon, were racing in the same Bush race, and Jimmy Johnson made an impression on Jeff Gordon, not with Jeff Gordon not being able to pass him, despite Jeff having a faster car. And Jeff was really impressed by Jimmy Johnson's driving style, being very smooth and, and consistent. And as a result, Johnson left the, the team that he got his break on in, in Herzong Motorsport, and he was able to sign a deal with Hedrick Motorsports, driving the number 48 Lowe Chevrolet. He made his NASCAR Winston Cup debut at the 2001 UAW GM Quality 500, driving, yeah, driving the number 48 low Chevy. However, he was involved in a crash and he finished 39th in the event. He made two starts later that year at Homestead in Atlanta, finishing 25th and 29th. In 2002, Johnson finally got in full time in the Winston Cup Series driving the same number 48 low Chevrolet. And Johnson put up stats in his rookie season that no one would have ever thought, having one of the best rookie seasons in NASCAR history. He had his first top 10 at the third race of the season at Las Vegas where he finished sixth and had his first top five of his career at Atlanta where he finished third. And it didn't take him long for him to get his first career win. He won his first race at the 2002 Napa Auto Parts 500 at California. And then he pulled off a season sweep at Johnson's favorite track at Dover, winning both the events. And then throughout the year, he had six top fives and 21 top tens. And he was able to finish fifth in the points, having and once again having one of the best rookie seasons in NASCAR history. Also earning about $3.78 million that same year too. In 2003, there was no sign of sophomore slump for Jimmy Johnson. In 2003, Johnson won the All-Star Race and the Coca-Cola 600 on the same weekend, except, well, that race was rain-shortened. He also pulled off another track sweep that same year, this time being at New Hampshire. And then, and throughout the season, being more consistent in 2003 than he was in 2002, having 14 top fives and 20 top tens. And he, and he finished second in the points to Matt Kenseth and earning about $7.7 .7 million that year. In 2004, Johnson was expected to pick up where he left off, especially having six consecutive top three finishes at the end of the 2003 season. In 2004, Johnson probably had one of the best seasons of his cup career. Sweep, sweeping both races and not one 
not two, but three different tracks at Darlington, Charlotte, and Pocono, and also winning Martinsville and Atlanta. As a combined total, he won eight races during that season. And unfortunately, the heartbreak at Martinsville, that was that was the day where the infamous plane crash happened with that that was on board with uh, Hendrick family family members and Hendrick crew members that were involved in the plane and they were all killed in the plane crash and but however he he quickly rised them all back up with next week winning the race at Atlanta and uh, but unfortunately at the end he did not have enough to win the championship Losing by a slim eight points over champion Kurt Busch. But throughout the season, Johnson had 20 top fives, 23 top tens, and made $8.2 million that year. And from the first three seasons of his cup career, Johnson won a rec one of the, had won the most races than probably any other driver in their early cup careers. Went in a total of 14 races in his early season and finishing in the top five in points in all three of those years. After a loss in the championship in 2004, Johnson was expected to continue title form in 2005. Though it started out well, in the first seven races of the season, he has finished no worse than eight and win, and win in the race at Las Vegas. And once again, every year since his rookie year, he has performed at least one uh, sweep of tracks, uh, winning like winning like a pair of races every season. This time in 2005, he won both races at Charlotte. And the 2005 Coca-Cola 600 win was one of the most impressive wins that Johnson had in his career. Um, Bobby Labonte looked to be the eventual winner. But however, Johnson's car was able to get better at the end, and he was able to pass Labonte on the last corner to get the win. And he also won one more race at his favorite track at Dover. However, he wasn't as championship contending in 05 than he was in 04. But however, at the end, he still kept his top five points, uh, finishing in points streak alive. Once again, finishing fifth in points as well as having 13 top fives and 22 top tens and earning 8.3 million dollars that year. 